Hey, what's up? David here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today you're going to learn the song I Remember You by Skid Row from their 1989 self titled release record Skid Row. The song sounds really good when played with one guitar and I'll show you a couple different ways to do it. Like I did in the intro, I'll show you how you could do it with those little licks put in there and I'll also show you how you could do it where you could just straight strum it um, on the chord change. So it's just a couple of progressions and a handful of chords and you'll be playing the song. The song is in the key of G major and it's medium rock tempo, about 120 beats per minute and we're in standard tuning, A440. So tune your guitars low to high, E, A, D, G, B, and E. The trick is, of course, trying to get someone that could sing this in this original key, right? Because Sebastian Bach's vocals are just so incredibly amazing and so high. So what you can always do is just sing in an octave lower, right? Or you could tune down the E flat, that'll give you a little bit of a break. Or just kind of just have everyone sing along and have fun with it. Now the chords you're going to need to play this song are a G major, C add 9, a D major, C major, uh, like that. Uh, you're also going to need E minor and A major. Now if you find yourself stumbling on these chord changes and you can't get them in time or chord changing in general, I could really help you with that. Click on that link in the YouTube description box below. I'll send you a killer video lesson on my chord changing technique tips and exercises. It'll get your chord changing blasted to the next level. It's extended play. It's not on YouTube. It's packed with technique tips and exercises and pro tips that'll really get your chord playing to the next level. The video lesson's killer. I'll pair it with an ebook which has more chord charts in it, more lessons, more exercises. It's a fabulous one-two punch and I'll send you both the video lesson and ebook for free. Just click on that link below. So there's the intro which goes into verse one. Verse one, woke up to the sound of pouring rain, right? And I'll show you that progression which goes into verse two. I'll paint a picture of the days go by, that goes into the chorus. The big chorus, remember yesterday, walking hand in hand, right? And then the only other progression in the song, really, there's that bridge section, um, and then there's the chords on the guitar solo, which I'll show you that. But let's go over the main progression of the song, which is basically used in the intro and part of the verses, is that G to C add 9. Now I'll show you two ways to do it. I'll show you how they do it on the record, adding the arpeggiation and the licks, and I'll also show you the strumming version. I'll show you the strumming version first. So here's the intro. They play the G to C add 9 two times. So it sounds like this. Woke up to the sound of pouring rain into verse 1. The strum pattern you're going to use is down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. And that's the same strum we'll use in the other version too, and the same strum we're going to use in other parts of the song. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down. Okay, so two times on the G slow. C at 9, same pattern. And then again, down, up, up, down. Up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down. Into verse 1. Verse 1, they do the G to C add 9 three times, and then the chord changes D to C. We'll get to that in a second. Let me show you the other way to play it. And the other way is like what he's doing on the record. Let me break that down for you. Okay, that's what he does on the G chord. You're going to play that same strum pattern. Start on the G. Down, up, up, down, up, up. Okay, now instead of doing the down, up, down, up, you're going to do this. You're going to do... Okay, and what he's doing there is you're holding that G chord because you want it to ring out, and you're going to hammer on with your first finger from that open A to the second fret. So you're hammering on to the B chord, uh, onto the B note. So you get that sound. Then you're going to pick that uh, D string open, and then pick the B string open. So that's on the G chord. So slow on the G. Then switch to the C add 9. And you're going to do the same beginning of the strum. Down, up, up, down, up, up. Now here's the lick he does on the C add 9. Okay, so what I'm doing there, same beginning of the strum. Down, up, up, down, up, up. Now what he does... So you got to hammer that open B to the third fret with your third finger and then pull off to open. One pick on that B, hammer pull. And then come up the G and the D string. Okay, here it is. 
right? You can either do it and leave your pinky down, or take your pinky off, will give you a little more strength. It's a little tricky, but you could do it and just practice it slow and then build up the time. Here's both together slow. Change. Back to the G. Okay, so there's two ways to do it. You could do it just the full on strumming version if you want, or you could put those licks in there, your choice. And if you've got a second, please do me a quick favor and subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps us to keep the content coming, as well as then you'll be notified when I have new lessons posted. Leave a comment below also, that, we really appreciate that. Let us know how you like this lesson, what lessons you'd like to see coming up. And if you like the video, please click the like button, give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. You do that intro two times and that goes into verse one, woke up to the sound of pouring rain. Let me play you the verse, uh, because verse one he does it a little bit differently in verses two, three, and four. And here's verse one, I'll just do the strumming version. Verse 2. So for verse 1, you're doing that G to C at 9 three times, like you do in all the verses, but then you're going to a D chord and then to a C chord, one each. And then it goes right into verse 2. Every verse after that, he does the D to C and then I'll do the D to C again twice. Um, same strum pattern on that D to C chord, right? So basically, it's G woke up to the sound, C at 9 pouring rain, G. Wind would whisper, C at 9, I think of you, I'm thinking change, G, and all the tears you cry, that you called my name, now D, there's your D, and when you needed me, I came through, on the I, you changed the C, back to the, I paint a picture of the days gone by, right? So you go right back into verse two. Verse two, paint a picture, same exact first changes. The only difference is you do the, you do the G, to the C at nine three times, but then you do the D to the C two times. So you go D, C, D, and then that's the C. That second time you build the C because that's going into that big chorus of Remember Yesterday. So the, the rest of the verse is D, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, C. Again. Remember yesterday, okay. Now I built that C chord up into the chorus and how I did that, you know, just to create some dynamics is down, 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 up, down. So the chorus chords, uh, let me play it for you and then I'll go back and explain it. Back to the intro. Two times. Next verse. We spent the summer with the top roll down. All right, so for the chorus, the chords are G, remember yesterday, D, walking hand in hand, E minor, love letters in the sand, C, I remember you. And it repeats that, so it does that two times. The second time, G, and through the sleepless nights, D, through every endless day, E minor, I want to hear you say, C, I remember you. Now, see, the first time he plays a chorus, he kind of hits it and just lets it ring. The second time, he strum through it, and then it goes, I remember you. On that U, you're back to the G to C at 9. G to C at 9, and then into the next verse. So that's chorus one. Chorus two and three are just a tad different. Like I said, you might want to just build that C chord right back to the G chord. So that's the only difference in chorus two is that build. In chorus three, the only difference is you play the G chord in extra measure. Because that goes into the bridge section. We've had our share of hard times, but that's the price we paid. And through it all, we kept the promise that we made. Um, 
that goes into the guitar solo. So let me show you that bridge section. I'll go back and explain. It'll sound like this. Into the guitar solo. So the bridge, the chords are just A. We've had our share of hard times, E minor, but that's the price we paid. A again, and through it all, we kept the promise you go to D that we made, and you do the D twice, two measures. Um, so I was doing that same strum pattern. I mean, you could mix it up if you want. Right? Uh, but on the D chord, promise that we made the first time I did down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. And then I built it like we did on that C chord before, right? All downs because you go into that real killer guitar solo, so you really want to be bringing that dynamic up by then, right? And then it goes into the. Always love that. That pedal tone lick, right? So let me show you what he's doing underneath the guitar solo because obviously if you're playing one guitar, the song, you're not going to play the solo, but you might just want to play the chords underneath, right? Give it a little break. You're going to play the G to C at 9 three times, just like a verse, and then D to C, D to C twice, just like a verse, and then he goes back to G, C at 9 two times. And then it goes right from that guitar solo into uh, the outro chorus. Now we're at the end of the song. So the last chorus, he does a double chorus. The Remember Yesterday, Walking Hand in Hand. He does that twice. And then after that, they play the chorus again, the chorus chords, the G, D, E minor, C, two times. And then he does the G to C add nine two times, but he arpeggiates them. And he plays a little lick to end the song, right? So let me show you that ending. same strum pattern and you play the chorus two times um, and then you're going to do G to C at 9 but you're going to arpeggiate it like this on the G chord you do uh, hold the G chord low E string A string then skip down to the G string and then the D string then do the top four strings high E B G D so those together now you're going to do the same pattern on the C add 9 Except this time you have to start with the A string, A string, D string, then skip to the B, G, and then the top four in order. So that sounds like this. Right? Then you go back to the G string, repeat it, same thing. Now this time on the C add 9, do the first four, then you're going to play this lick. So what I'm doing there is I'm barring the high E and the B with the first finger at the third fret and playing both notes. One pick, slide a whole step up to the fifth fret, slide back to the third fret. Then the next one, take your first finger on the B string, first fret on the C note, and then play the A note on the second fret on the G string. And then play that double stop up a whole step. So you're going from the first and second frets to the third and fourth frets and slide back. So you get this together. One pick, slide, slide, one pick, slide, slide, and then get that G chord. So to, all together, and the song ends. That's it. I hope you enjoyed that one. It's a really fun one to play. Just a handful of chords. If you can't do those intro licks, don't even worry about it. Just play the strumming version of the song. Have fun with it. And don't forget, please subscribe to the channel. You know, that really helps us to keep the content coming. And then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. And also click on that link in the YouTube description box. Get my free video lesson on ebook on essential chord changing techniques. It's packed with exercises. It's a killer video lesson and ebook really help you along in your guitar journey. Click below, I'll send you both those for free. And if you want to check out some of my original music, I recently dropped a new record with my original band, Mind Cell. 
We're based out of San Diego. It's a slamming record. I think it's some of the best music I've ever written. I'd love for you to hear it. It's streaming on all the platforms. I'll put links to that in the YouTube description box. Check it out. And then if you have any questions on the songs or maybe the progressions or on the gear I use or the studio techniques, drop me a line. I'd love to hear from you. And thank you so much for checking out this lesson. And thank you so much for your support over the years and years. So appreciated. Stay tuned. I got lots more killer songs and content coming. Really excited about it. Keep up all that hard work on those guitars. Keep having fun with it. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. Take care, rock on. I'll see you in the next lesson.